Hi, I'm Jason, and today I'll be showing you how to install a downturn nozzle on a Resner gas-fired unit heater. This particular model is a UDX75. We need to take the door off because we have to remove the faceplate. We need to take out these two screws, one right here and one right here. And then we can take off the door strap, remove the rest of the faceplate, take off the louvers by compressing the spring. Now we have access to the screws that are holding the faceplate on. Those will need to be removed. Now with the screws out, we can take the faceplate off. The downturn nozzle kit, there will be the two triangles, but they are different. We can see that this triangle has slotted holes, and that is going to be for the door latches. So we want to make sure that we put the correct triangle on the correct side. So this part is going to go inside the cabinet to hold it all together. We know that this will be our door side because these slotted holes will be for the door hinges. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually take our face plate and mount our top and triangles right to our faceplate. So we could start by putting in these three screws. Now I'm going to leave the sides loose because I still I want to put the, the bottom piece on. So the way this is going to work is this goes inside the heater. Screw this to the bottom. Three screws, just same same position as the top. And now we can screw the sides of our triangles down. Now we're ready to attach this to the unit. This will go on the bottom. This will attach to the top. There'll be two screws here. Now we can put the face plate with the downturn nozzle and attach it to the unit. Now I'm just going to put in two screws just so it'll hold. And then we'll take a look and see where we need to attach our screws. Now here's the screw I just put in the bottom to hold it. And the one in the top. Now we got to put in one here, one here. One here, 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 here. Now I've got my screws in the bottom, the side, and the top. The last thing for inside of here is going to be this metal piece here, and I'll show you how to do that right now. Now we can see a big gap in this area, so that's what this piece is for. And we're going to use these slots, these self-tapping screws, onto this metal plate. Get it back in there so that our groove on the top goes into the groove up here. Go ahead and self-tap it. Go ahead and put in our louvers. Final step, we're going to finish assembling the downturn nozzle frame to the unit inside the controls cabinet by putting in these two screws that we had taken out before to take off the face plate. And then once that's in place, we can put the door back on and lock it up. And we 
are done installing the downturn nozzle. 